give testimony. I want to give testimony for the Lord, for this Torah. I don't know if this is ever, ever happened in uh, Zimbabwe, what we're doing here today. Um, I was scheduled to be here in Zimbabwe for my school, for teaching my students. And I woke up twice in the same night. And the Lord says to me, bring this Torah to Zimbabwe. And I said, I don't want to give up this Torah. This is my home Torah. This is my precious, precious Torah. It came from Jerusalem. And I want to give honor first um, to those who wrote this Torah. I want to tell you about them. They are the scribes. Sometimes we read in the scripture about the scribes, the Pharisees, those mean guys. And I want to tell you, I know those scribes personally. They know of our deep conviction to Yeshua. And you know what they do every time they see me? They literally take my hand and they kiss all my hands and they say you bring the Messiah because the nations love the Torah Amen. and they're rejoicing and they're da dancing and this Torah was actually honored uh, somebody who, who, who died in the Holocaust was burned alive actually this particular Torah um, was honored for them now this is what we call a kosher Torah it means this Torah is perfect there is not a single mistake there is not an error it's just perfect Yeshua is perfect he walked into the synagogue and they handed him the Torah and he spoke straight about himself from this world and this is exactly what we're going to do today we are going to open the Torah and we're going to hear about Yeshua I believe that in every generation in Judaism we learn that in every generation there is a Messiah what do I mean by that in every generation God raised a person as Abraham to um, to stand in the gap and I'll tell you something I didn't know nothing about Africa I didn't ever care about Africa one day I got a call from the UK. It was Mrs. Masiwa. I didn't know who she was. I didn't know her name even. But I sensed something in the spirit. She said, we must return. The nation has to return. Africa has to return. And from this, from nothing, from literally nothing. There are two people I think they influence this work in my life and I want to honor both of them. One of them is my good friend Jonathan Bernis, Jewish Voice International, my beloved brother. I thank the Lord for Jewish Voice and the work with the Lemba. We love Jonathan. We love Jewish voice. And although I dedicated this today from our ministries, ministry, I want to tell you, Jewish voice for me is every bit part of this. Because we are in this together. And I honor, I honor my Jewish brother who went before me, Jonathan. And I also want to honor today, uh, the Masiwa family, I am telling you, 
God is raised in this nation somebody like Abraham who will fight and will cleanse this land and I just give thanks to the Lord for both thank you Lord that righteousness and godliness have not departed from this land thank you Lord that this is not just a gift to higher life foundation this is a gift for every one of you here Lembas it is for you Lembas it is for you my Christian brothers my Christian brothers it is for you come back we waited for you a long time what took you so long welcome this is a gift for Zimbabwe and to this entire continent and we rejoice so you know violence started to erupt here in Zimbabwe in Harare and God just gave me one verse in the book of Numbers chapter 10 when he says when with the ark would travel Moses would say arise O Lord let your enemy be scattered and I say today to Zimbabwe arise arise O Lord arise O Lord let your enemy be scattered. Hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing. We'll do something abnormal today. Usually you will sit and hear the word of the Lord. But today is a special day. We call you to partake in this. So I'm just going to invite you right now as a one time thing. We will not do it normally. Today is a historic day. Those who want to come closer and see the word of the Lord. Those who even want to come around the stage. Those who want to be next to me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Don't touch. Don't touch. God know exactly, exactly which passage to choose from us. You know, I want to tell you a story of a miracle. Do you notice how perfect this story is? Not a smudge on the letters. Perfect. If one letter is not perfect, if one Yesterday when I 
open the Torah here just to make sure we're in the right place. I didn't know if the Torah was in Genesis, Exodus. We're in Deuteronomy right now. Guess where it's open up to? The exact portion of the week. Do you hear what I am telling you? God ordained Just a little bit, if you've never seen a Torah before. A Torah is made up of Torah sheets. You see this from here to here, this is a Torah sheet. There are 49 different Torah sheets that made up a Torah. If one letter in one word in one Torah sheet is not perfect, the entire Torah is imperfect. Just as Yeshua had to be perfect. This is not paper, this is an animal skin. This is a sheep skin, as a matter of fact. An animal has to die, no touching. An animal has to die for you and I to hear the word of the Lord today. The Torah is wrapped in what's called this, it's called the tree of life. You see, that's the call of the Torah, to restore us back to the garden. It is as Moses said, the Torah is not over the heavens. The Torah is not over the seas. The Torah is right here next to you. I'm going to do the traditional blessing and I will read to you from the Torah and then I will translate it to the English language. Bahu et Adonai Amevorach, Bahu Adonai Amevorach, Leolam Vaed, Bahu Hata Adonai, Loenu Melchaolam, Asher Baharbanu Mikola Amim, Venatan Lanu et Oratu, Bahu Hata Adonai, Notena Torah, Amen. Blessed are you, King of the Universe, who chose us from all people. And he gave us this Torah. Blessed be his name forever and ever. How amazing it is. And for those of you in the room who are not Jewish, I want you to explain to you the extent of this miracle. If a Gentile wants to hold to the Torah, to the covenant that God has given to the Jewish people, he is not allowed to do that by Jewish law. The men of our Jewish law teach that he deserves death. But it says in the book of Ephesians, you who have been without 
Messiah. Without God and without hope. Stranger from the covenant of Israel. Now through Messiah, you come in. So there are good words here. And you can take those promises and the blessings. Because Yeshua had to die. But he has not removed the blessings. But he has taken upon himself the curses. So just as we hear today the word of the Torah. May blessings as we say in Israel. Will be poured upon you. Upon the entire house of Israel. And let us say together. Amen and amen. Hallelujah. I am going to read for you. From Deuteronomy 27. Vayetzav Moshe Vezikne Israel Et Amale Mo Shemo Kol Mitzvah Asher Anochi Metzavche Etchem Ayom Veaya Bayom Asher Tavu Et Ayarden El Aret Asher Adonai Elohecha Noten Lecha Vekamta לך אבנים גדולות ושדות אותה בסיד וכתבת עליהם את כל דברי התורה הזאת בעבריך למען אשר תבוא אל הארץ אשר אדוני אלוהיך נותן לך ארץ זבת חלב ודבש כאשר דיבר אדוני אלוהיך אבותיך לך והיה באברהם את הירדן ותקים את האבנים האלה אשר אנוכי מצבך אתכם היום Israel to resurrect the stones. God have woke me at 6 a.m. this moment and he reminded me that Zimbabwe means the house of stone. And he's telling Israel, resurrect the stones. And we prophesy and we proclaim in the name of Yeshua on each and every one of you here. Jew and Gentile, Lamba, and every nation and every tribe, that you will resurrect the stones in the name of Yeshua. Amen and amen. I'm telling you, this is the word and the day that God has made, has made for Zimbabwe. He ordained this day for the house of stones. Yes. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Are you excited about God? Yes. Let's hear this. Moses and the elders of Israel commanded the people saying, keep the whole commandment. Can I explain to you something? I'm stopping now. I'm giving you a commentary. When you say keep the whole commandment, God is giving 613 commandments. But he said keep the whole commandment. Singular. Why? Because God, look at all the commandments as one. We have this tendency to pick and choose. And God tells you the Jewish people, don't pick and choose. But the word whole here, this means fullness. Keep the fullness of each commandment. Can we say the word fullness today? God has given me a prophetic word to Zimbabwe. When you go and you raise those stones, don't settle for those empty little hollow stones. Get the full stones. Get the full brick. Get the fullness of what God has for us. Are you hearing me? I'm telling you this is from God. And if you know me, I don't often say it's from God. Sometimes I say it's from me. But today I say it's from God. Any pastor saying to you any word is from God is lying. But this is from God. Keep the whole commandment. 
that I'm commanding you today. Now on the day when you cross over the Jordan to the land that Adonai, your God, is giving you. Are you excited? You are to set up. Here you go. You are to set up large stone for yourself and coat them with plaster. Then you are to write on them. You want to know your commission? Here you go. You are to write on them. You are to write on Zimbabwe. All the word of this Torah. When you cross over. So that you may enter the land. That Adonai your God is giving you. A land flowing with milk. I speak, I speak this word right now over Zimbabwe. A land filled with milk and honey. Just as Adonai, the God of your side, promised you. Now, when you cross over the Jordan, you are to set up. Look, he's saying it the second time. You are to set up these stones about which I commanded you today in Mount Ebal and coat them with plaster. There also you will build an altar. You know what synagogue called? The synagogue is like an altar. You will build, and I see, I want to tell you something. I see a prophetic vision. And here's the vision I see. God created many places of altars. He transforming churches. He is raiding messianic synagogues for the lambas. And those places are full of stones, living stones. With the mighty one of Israel writing his name. This is the word of Adonai today. I want now to do something very prophetic. We, every time after we hear the word of the Lord, we are commanded to lift it up. And we take our little pinky and we point. Why? Because we're pointing at Yeshua. Okay, every letter pointing upon Yeshua. Do you see in the scroll those little things look like this? You know what those are? Those are singing notes. Those are called contamination mark. Because guess what? Yeshua said that every jot and tittle is important. I did not come to abolish the law of the prophets, I came to fulfill every jot and tittle. This is the jot and this is the tittle. This is what Yeshua is talking about. Every singing melody is important. Not just the letter of the law, but the spirit of the law, Yeshua said. But I want to give you a word. The spirit without the letter is also dead. May God will fill us with the letter of his word. And may he fill all of us with the spirit of the Lord. Hallelujah. Since this land is a land that we're going to build stone, I really believe that God is going to use our land of people to do the beginning work that will bring also revival to the church. So I ask today... You see, the Lamba people lost this Torah. You know what happened to them? They lost their Jewishness. They are mixed Christians and mostly sadly became even more Muslims now even. How tragic it is. So I want you to stand for the, as it says, as Moses says, we are standing here for who is with us and who is not with us. He was talking for the future. I want you today to raise this as a banner and we look upon this word and we will chant this blessing, all of us together. So I want to honor the Lemba people today with me to bring honor to God in this house. Are we ready to raise it up? We will raise it not to ourselves. You will have to turn it to the holy crowd. So if you're standing here, please go back down there so you can look upon the word just as we look upon Yeshua. You don't have to go back. Just as I said, just be here. But we're going to do this together. Are you ready?
We need more help here because this is going to be heavy. Hallelujah. Are you ready? Pick it up. Somebody come. Very carefully, very gently. Very carefully. Come on, guys. Lift it up. ברוך אתה אדוני אלוהינו מלך העולם שנתן לנו תורת אמת וחיי עולם אתה בתוכנו ברוך אתה אדוני נו נו נותן התורה ורטיקל 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 מאט הלפ דם פליס מאט וירס דה יד טו הנד סטרונג מאט מאט אי וויד לייק יו טו הלפ דם פליס קאם דיס ווי קאם דיס ווי טרן אראונד קאם באק קאם טו מי קאם טו מי מאט This or what? Turn this way. Oh, turn around. Turn around. Turn around. Guys, guys, guys. Here we go. Here we go. Now, tighten the door on that. Hallelujah. And this done every Shabbat in the synagogue. Matt, help me to lift it up. It's have to be exalted. Yeshua have to be exalted. Here we go. Do you see this beautiful Torah? Torah sheet, everybody see this? This is the word of the Lord that is placed through Moses as an everlasting inheritance. And this inheritance belongs to you as much as it belongs to us. You know why? Because we give it to you. Not because you deserve it. We give it to you. All what you have to do today is grab. So Lord, I speak every blessings in the name of Yeshua upon this holy assembly. Upon the body of believers. Upon those who carry those Torah and those who are witnesses, which include all of us. You see, when the ark would travel, it was called the ark of the witness. The ark of the testimony. And today we have a testimony. Do we have a testimony today? Yes. Do this with me. Point to this. And why you use your pinky? You said, I want every letter, every time. You see, the pinky, those letters, it's like the letter Yod. It's the smallest letter in the Hebrew alphabet. And Israel said, we will do and we will listen. Vazot HaTorah, Asher HaMosheh, Lifnei Bnei Yisrael, על פי אדוני, ביד משה. But can you lead us in the Eds Chaim? Please. The Torah in Proverbs chapter 3, verse 17, is called the Eds Chaim. She is like a tree of life. But it is not a tree of life for everything, the scripture says. It is a tree of life. of life for those who grab her. There is a difference between holding somebody and grabbing something. And it says in Zechariah 23, and we are fulfilling it today. The ten Gentiles will hold the garment of the Jew. The word is not hold. It is grab in power. I'm praying that you will be able to grab in power. In power. Can we believe for power? Don't let go. Yeshua said, do not let go until the end arrives. Don't let go. Those who today are tired, who are weary, who are weak. Don't let go in the name above all name. In the name of Yeshua, the Messiah. And Matt, I want you to sing this over them today because it's a prayer of not letting go. It's Haim He La Makazikimba Vet 
We just pray. Matt, I want you to pray first. I'll pray for specific, spe specifically uh, entering mm. to the new covenant. The word the new can actually mean renew. Can Amen. we enter into a new covenant today with the Amen. God of Israel and the people of Israel? You cannot have a covenant with God of Israel if you don't have a covenant with the Jewish people. Amen. So let's invite. Mm. Anyway, actually, we're going to do something. Who wants to enter in right now a new covenant? Mm. I will pray for those who want to enter in. Hallelujah. Give him the heart of the Zion, mm. of the Jewish Messiah. Let's pray for this now. Avinu Malkenu, our Father, our King, we thank you as those from the nations that we have a chance to be grafted in. And Lord, we thank you that we were not plan B. Lord, all along you desired to graft in all nations into Israel. For even as you said to Abraham in Genesis chapter 12, that through you, all the nations of the world will be blessed. And Lord, we've learned from the rabbi that that word blessed comes from the word that means to graft. That through Abraham, all nations of the world will be grafted. Lord, we thank you that we have been grafted into the tree of Israel. We thank you that we have been grafted in. Lord, we pray that we from the nations would not boast against the natural branch, but rather look to our older brother, the Jewish people to lead us and to guide us. Lord, we have been without your Torah for 2,000 years. Help us to look to your chosen people, Israel, to whom your covenants are irrevocable. Your promises stand to this day. Lord, your nature and your creation is a testimony. As it is still standing, so stands the covenant between you and your people, Israel. Lord, we thank you for that. And Lord, I, I want to pray for the Lambas also oh, to amen. enter the new covenant. Amen. Not just to the church, but also to the Lambas, Lord. Amen. As those among the Lambas who are standing now holding the Torah, amen. I ask that you bring a revival in the thousands. Amen. In the thousands upon the Lamba people to be restored. What has been stolen from amen. them. Amen. What has been robbed from them. Give them a, a righteous anger. Provoke them to jealousy. To return, Lord, to the things that have been lost. They have been lost, but you have never forgotten it. Nobody's lost in your eyes, Lord. So restore our people. All the scatters of people to this new covenant, renewed covenant, in the name above all name, in the name of Yeshua, Amen, and Amen. Hallelujah! Can we give Yeshua glory and honor? Let's help him to later. Hallelujah! You may be seated. 